YouTube, I'm the Bearded Brother, and today we're taking a look at the Trigicon RMR Type 2 Red Dot Sight. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and become part of the Brotherhood, and stay tuned. Alright guys, so as we said before, we are looking at the Trigicon RMR Type 2 Red Dot. Okay, so before I go any further, I will note that there was previously a Type 1 um, version of the RMR. Uh, still a great sight if you can get your hands on one of those. The only downside to that was uh, it did occasionally have a flicker on, flicker off issue when mounted on pistols. And let's be honest, these are relatively small, compact, robust sights um, that often find themselves at home on a pistol. So Trigicon quickly took back to the drawing board, came out with the Type 2, which is a bit more robust and the battery terminals are a bit more reliable as well. Um, so you don't have the battery shaking loose of those terminals and, and causing a flicker on and off. So that's the difference between the Type 1 and the Type 2. What all comes in the box with the Type 2, as you see here, um, you do get a 2032 battery. You'll end up getting two RMR screws as well as a hex wrench to install those. Um, you'll also get the manual, of course, a warranty card, and you do get a Trigicon sticker as well. Now the MSRP on this unit, $699, so not cheap at all. I will say that I managed to snag this one at a bit of a discount. Uh, of course, still new in box, um, but if you do scour the internet, you can find these on sale. Um, I'd say as low as $400. Those deals are pretty much gone now um, with the COVID scare. Um, but if you can get around $450, $475, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Most of what I've seen out there now is being offered around 500 600 and some places are going up to 700 um, right up there with the MSRP. So keep that in mind. They are selling out. Uh, if you can grab one and you want one, go ahead and get it while you still can. All right. So basically, this is just a special RMR or a special red dot um, in the sense that A, it's extremely small. And then B, it has a patented housing shape that essentially will help to absorb any impacts and the way that the, the aluminum housing is shaped basically divert stresses away from the lens in turn increasing reliability. So that's the reason that these sites are so popular. Potentially part of the reason that they're priced so high, I imagine part of that is due to the fact that they do contract with the U.S. government and you don't really have to adjust your price if the government is your buyer. They're pretty much going to pay whatever. So um, these are well suited to, to training, uh, concealed carry, self-defense, military law enforcement. Um, it, it's, it's a, it's a one-stop shop site. Um, now it's pricey, but it's good stuff. So I'll go ahead and crack this open and kind of show you guys the unboxing experience. As I do that, I will tell you guys, I've already removed the RMR from the packaging because the unboxing experience, quite frankly, was a bit underwhelming. Um, I do like the packaging that it came in, but it's essentially, it was just placed in there. Um, and I popped it out and under a second, the unboxing was done. So what I'll do instead is kind of show you guys where I placed the optic um, and then I'll pop it off and we can take a look at it up close here. So as I told you guys, I've already placed the optic on its home. It's already where I'd like it to, to sit. Um, I have it placed here at 45 degrees. Um, this is a T-Rex Arms uh, offset mount. Uh, it was between them and the Era socket to kind of get that 45 degrees um, offset or, or, or canted red dot if you if you play too much COD. Um, so yeah, so that's that's kind of what I wanted to do with this um, with this build. I have the LPBO um, and uh, I've got the Cloud Defensive Owl up front. And naturally, I was kind of um, cramped as to where I'd place any backup irons. I'd have to move the iron the the owl back, which would have interfered with my grip. Um, it just didn't appeal to me. Um, and with the price of some of these high-end irons, Knight's Armament, Troy, I mean, you're looking at around 200, if not more, for a good set of irons. Um, and at that price, you know, you're kind of knocking on the door of red dot territory. So for me, the the, the path kind of went from um, a Hollow Sun, uh, I forget the model number now, I want to say 407, um, but it, it, it was the Hollow Sun with the... Uh, with a solar panel there on the side. I ended up going with this, uh, with the RMR. Reason being is because it's got that that reputation for reliability. It's got that patented lens um, shape, well, I guess housing shape to protect that lens. Um, and if I put an additional battery powered optic on the firearm, 
I wanted that to be as close to the reliability level of a set of steel or aluminum iron. So went with the RMR, again, paid um, a, a small fortune. The price came just under $500 after shipping and tax. So I got a pretty decent deal, but by no means is this a cheap optic, especially for a backup um, solution. So that is the optic. That's how I've got it mounted. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it like that, but basically I've got it so I can quickly can't that can't that uh that rifle to the side there and, and use that dot for for when I'm shooting targets that are a little bit closer up. Um so planning to get this out to the range soon guys. Um well I guess I've already got it out to the range, but I haven't taken it to any training classes just yet. I've got one this weekend, so I'm hoping to run it through its paces. But without further ado, let me go ahead and pop this off guys and I'll show you um more of the site up close. Alright guys, so here it is. This is this is it. This is the RMR. Quite small, an extremely tiny uh, footprint overall there, um, but an extremely robust optic. So you can kind of see that patented shape that they've got with these um, these additional kind of chunks of aluminum on the edge of the lens there. That essentially is supposed to absorb some of that shock impact. Um, on a drop or on a bump and, and divert that away from the lens. Um, overall, I'm very happy with the quality of the optic. It's well milled, well, well, well designed, um, and it feels pretty robust. Um, you'll see that we've got the MOA adjustments for the uh, up and down here on the top. And then on the side, you've got the, uh, the small adjustments uh, for um, left and right windage. Um, you've also got your uh, brightness buttons pretty large there on the side as you'll see so you got plus on the left um, and minus or negative there on the right um, and these are pretty easy to and tactile to to engage let me see if I can get that on for you guys now what you will also notice is um, on the bottom side of the RMR it's essentially just a battery terminal um, and a uh, I guess a couple screw points underneath that that warranty sticker there, but that's essentially all you get. Now it's important that you'll see it down there below. Um, it's important that you, when you purchase this, if you do want the reliability, the water resistance, um, you do need to purchase the sealing plate. As, again, as you see there below, which basically this is a thin sheet of steel or metal that sits between the battery and the actual mounts or the rail surface or whatever you end up putting this on. So that is important. Um, to consider if you do want that water resistance that is not included in the box. Um, so there's the dot there. It's quite hard to get into the, it's hard to do when I'm behind the camera like this guys. Um, but you did see it briefly <laughs> there for just a second. Um, there we go. So there's the dot. It's pretty, pretty crisp. It's overall, um, I'm, I'm very happy. You know, that it's, it's one of these things where, you know, these dots, it's essentially just a dot. You're not going to see um, a major variation between this and maybe a hollow sun dot in terms of the dot itself. Um, but when it comes to overall reliability, um, whether or not the optic is going to last, uh, that's kind of where Trigicon enters the game. So, um, that's my, that's about it guys. You know, it's really not much to show, which is the reason I kind of took it out the box there for you guys. Um, but that's the optic that's Trigicon RMR type two. All right, so that's the RMR Type 2. Um, if you're looking to pick one of these up, I've got mine online at Lambo's Armory. Uh, they should still have a few in stock, um, but it's possible that they're sold out. Again, these can be found all over the place, um, but you're going to see prices all over the place as well. Um, so, again, you know, just, just, just be wary. Keep an eye out. If you see a good price and you want one of these, go ahead and grab it. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, the Trigicon or the uh, T-Rex Arms mount that I showed, um, those kind of come in and out of stock. If you are looking for a canted or 45 degree um, offset mount, uh, I, I do like the T-Rex Arms mount. Uh, Arasaka has a very good mount as well. Both of those two, I would say, are kind of up there for me. Um, and one of the good things about it is, as you see here, I've taken it off of the mount, um, but being as that mount stays fixed to the rail, when I do pop this off once a year to change the batteries, because bear in mind, um, this does have uh, an always on feature. It doesn't have uh, a shake awake or, um, you know, when you pick it up, it turns on. It's, it's not like some of those, those SIG optics or those hollow sun optics in that regard. It essentially does stay on. Now, in addition to that, there is an automatic 
functionality um, built into the light, which I've tested a bit now. Um, I haven't stressed it uh, too much between you know different dark and light uh, environments, um, but essentially when you do aim this uh, or when it when it detects light coming in from the front, it will brighten um, to accommodate some of that additional light, and when it detects you in a darker area, it will dim so that you don't get so much bloom from the dot. Um, but with that feature, um, so long as the optic is sitting at around medium setting, I believe a uh, number or a setting number three or four, as long as it's sitting uh, between those settings, you're typically going to get about four years of battery life out of this. Now, again, I recommend changing your battery once a year, maybe on your birthday, um, just to make sure that you don't have any issues if you ever do, in fact, need the firearm for more than a training course um, or something like that. But just something to keep in mind. Um, the automatic brightness can be your friend, um, but, it, but it can also be your enemy if for whatever reason you leave that, that optic in a bright area, um, it's going to burn that, burn that optic out a lot faster. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. That's the Trijicon RMR Type 2 uh, with a 3.5 MOA uh, dot on it there. So if you guys like the video, please hit the like button, smash the subscribe button as well while you're down there. It does do a lot for me. It helps boost the channel engagement, make sure that my videos get out there and seen by you guys. Um, and most importantly, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So if you could do that for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, guys, I'm the bearded brother. I'm gone.